So check this out. Um, I'm going to do an upcycle project turning uh, this busted up plant stand. It's my in-laws and it's rusted through on the, the top as you can see. Um, so I'm going to upcycle a piece of scrap metal that I have and cut out another circle, clean this up, weld it to there, and the bottom as you can see is kind of rusted out as well. So I'm going to clean that up and if it needs I will replace it or reinforce it. Um, so it's it's an upcycle project because I'm taking two things that as they stand, scrap metal and this broken plant stand that have no value, and I'm going to turn them into something that has value and it has value to my mother and father-in-law so they can put um, a plant on a stand in the yard and they love it and they've had this forever and I'm going to fix it for them so upcycling and fixing and um, I've mentioned this project that I was going to do it on, the, on my podcast but if I haven't told you guys about my podcast before um, I am part of a podcast called Reclaimed Audio and it has Mr. Phil Pinsky and Tim Sway and myself and we are all three reclaimers, recyclers, upcyclers, whatever you want to call it. But each week we put out a podcast and, and try and incorporate that idea of upcycling and recycling into an hour's discussion where we talk about ways of doing things, where to find things, are you doing it as a business, are you doing it as a hobby, anyway, on and on and on, Reclaimed Audio, uh, if you haven't listened to it yet, I will leave a link in the description. I'm talking too much, so let's stop doing that now and fix this plant stand. We'll upcycle plant stand repair. Okay. Quick tip, I have one of these, um, they're like in a hospital room type little table where it adjusts up and down. And even though they seem kind of flimsy, this has been one of the handiest little pieces. I've seen them in thrift stores, garage sales, whatever, but pick yourself up one of these, they're super handy. I weld on it, I paint on it, um, grind on it, whatever. Handy little table, but right now it's going to be perfect for me laying out this piece of metal. Fix the plant stand. Let's check it out.
Okay, so that turned out pretty good. Um, yeah, took me a couple tries to line up the uh, screw for the jig to do the uh, circle pattern. But uh, yeah, it worked out. Look, I have a circle. I have a metal circle. And this is substantially thicker than the one that rusted away, so it should last a pretty good time. Um, I'm going to clean up a little bit more around the areas that i got to weld, and we'll put a little tack weld through that hole on top to fill that hole one and to get it where I want it, pound it around, level it, and then um, brace it, weld it from underneath. And then we'll, I want to put a couple extra welds on the bottom of the plant stand as well. Uh, that metal's pretty good. I cleaned it up. It's still substantial. There's no rust all the way through. Anyway, we'll be done here in a few minutes. But that was fun. Let's, let's finish this puppy up. Okay, so there it is in all of its glory. A simple plant stand I replaced, fabricated and replaced a new top for it. Um, not thought at all exciting. Uh, did, uh, I think the funnest part was I made a jig to cut this with the plasma cutter by simply drilling a hole in the center of this disc that I uh, screwed it down. That gave it turnability and then to ground it because you need to ground when you're plasma cutting just like when you're welding I simply had a nut that it was sitting on underneath and clamped the ground cable there but again allowed me to just turn the disc and hold this the, the uh, plasma cutter in one spot and it turned out pretty cool I like it it's got a, a rustic look feel to it and uh, we were able to save something from the landfill so I appreciate you watching and uh, next video Without a doubt, nothing is getting in the way, will be Casey's desk. And don't forget to check us out on Reclaimed Audio Podcast, uh, com. You can find it there. You can also find it at WilliamLutz.com if you want to come over and check it out from that. And that will give you um, directions on how to get there. Anyway, love you guys. Appreciate it. Check you later. Bye.